I'd like to show you how to fold a wonton today. So we've already got our wonton mix. We've got these nice little wonton wrappers. Uh, as you can see, they're square. The round ones are for dumpling. So you want to separate them into one sheet. Sometimes they stick together. And one of the things you want to have prepared in advance for this is a small cup of water and a damp paper towel because you want to use the damp paper towel to cover them as you're working so they don't dry out. One of the key things to folding a wonton is that you don't want to put too much filling in. It'll kind of burst in the pan. So I've got a tiny little spoon. I'm just using a little bit of filling. So you're going to dip your finger in the water and you wet the bottom of the wonton wrapper a little bit just to help it stick together. Fold it over and you fold it over one more time and then you pinch the sides. Put a little water on the edges and pinch it together. Got a cute little wonton. So I'm going to do that one more time. Grabbing just enough filling, putting a little bit of water at the bottom, folding it over towards you, folding it over one more time, and then pinching the edges. So I'm going to go at normal pace. Once you get kind of used to it, you can make these a lot quicker. This is something that I did as a kid. We would sit around and just make a lot of wontons. It's great for pretty much any type of soup. You can put it in the nice kind of aromatic and soft pork neck bone soup that we're going to later today. You can put it in a hot spicy soup and drizzle that with chili oil. This is a pretty versatile wonton and it's a very versatile filling recipe since it's you know, strong and interesting, but not too spicy or bold or salty or sweet. And that is how you fold a wonton.